facility behind me is the Envisioning Center, and we use this facility to illustrate what life might be like five to ten years in the future. I'm actually going to walk up to a random desk in the office and the desk is going to recognize me and set itself to my ergonomic settings. So one of the fun things working on a surface like this is that I can use natural gestures to interact with just about everything. Every piece of content in the future will have some inherent commands built into it. Uh, some of those commands can be things like rewind to see previous states of content, but each piece of content we believe will also constantly be querying and searching on itself and all I have to do is reveal that search and it shows me um, related videos, related conferences. Large screens like this, large multi-touch displays will become ubiquitous in the office environment, perhaps taking the place today of standard you know, ceramic whiteboards or black foam boards leaning against the wall in the future, we'll have glass leaning against the wall. A lot of the scenarios here have a mix of technologies in them. Some of that technology is being developed by scientists, you know, engineers. So this is not science fiction. This is real, real work, real capability that is being developed as we speak in Microsoft. So here we have our, our gardens outside our home here, but uh, we'll head right over to the front door and have you come on in. So here in our home, we have uh, our home craft room, right? But here I've got my uh, Kinect scanner. And when I pick it up, you can see it's able to start uh, making 3D models of various objects that are up here on my walls. So I can take something like this pot, actually set it out there and scan it. And so now we have the ability to lift our hands up and go ahead and shape our pot maybe into a, a new pot, all by simply scanning and then manipulating the scanned object that we've made. So here we are in the kitchen. And so in this space, uh, we have some technology that helps us uh, you know, answer the age-old what's for dinner question, right? So I'm holding up a Thai pepper, and so here it's able to actually recognize that, and it gives me a list of recipes that we could try. So I'm going to try the beef and bop. So here, as I come over the counter, it'll light up. I can also uh, place ingredients out, and they'll uh, get selected as well. But it looks like the first thing I'm supposed to do is put a couple of cups of water on the stove here. And you can see it's able to project right down into it so that I get the current temperature and how long it will take to even for the water to come to a boil. So the systems here are making it very easy for me to just interact with the normal cooktop the way I normally would, but it's providing me the information that I need to do a good job. So here, you know, we finished our day. We've done a good day at the office. We've come home. We've had some nice dinner. But they asked me, it's now time to have some couch time. So I'm heading over.